Jackie Chan gets all dressed up and finds that his style of comedy and action is a perfect fit for the tuxedo. From DreamWorks Pictures. I always want to do something with Spielberg and DreamWorks. And I just tell my manager, yes, do it. Oh, please. Jackie was probably the number one reason I wanted to do the movie, because he's kind of a hero of mine. And I think Jackie in real life is 150% heartfelt every day. So I think that's why all of his movies have that quality in them. Look at you. You look all beat up. The script is interesting. I'm not the police anymore. I'm the uh, ordinary people. I'm the text driver. <laughs> And somehow I'm becoming a kind of like a Superman. Jackie plays sort of a wimpy, non martial artist. I thought all your people know karate. No, everybody Chinese is Bruce Lee. Who just has a very hard time making it in America. Just not my day. Woo! Wow. Do you think you can get me to 70 Fleming Street? As Jimmy Tong. Jackie is a fast-driving New York City cabbie who gets an intriguing offer he can't refuse. Oh, well, how would you like to make two thousand a week plus from board? When do I show up? Tomorrow morning, seven a.m. You'll be driving Clark Devlin. I'm a reclusive, enigmatic billionaire bachelor type. Never touch my tuxedo. You know, you come across them all the time in Starbucks. Well, I'm really enjoying our time together. Shall we try it moving? I cannot talk to him, I cannot see him. I just a driver. Why are we running away from a skateboard? I think it's probably a bomb. And a mishap befalls me. And uh, Jackie assumes my identity. After I wear the tuxedo, I change my personality. I can do all kinds of things. partner in the movie, working for the CSA, which is sort of an undercover clandestine organization, is Jennifer Love Hewitt. Hello. I take my work seriously, Mr. Devlin, so please stop using that ridiculous accent. The character Dell that I play in the movie is a lot different than anything I've ever been able to sort of do. <gasps> She's a tight-fisted, yes! too hard-working, very motivated, fast-talking person. Okay. Chapter six of the training manual. Unarmed assailant, frontal attack. Begin! I find Walter to be reckless. I'm playing Diedrich Banning, who's the megalomaniac bad guy plotting to poison the American water supply. Pretty much every person on Earth would have to drink only Banning Springs water. Yes, indeed. He's a nasty piece of work. What a brilliant idea. Water that makes you thirsty. Together, they try to track down this evildoer who is attempting to pollute the water source in North America. Welcome to the tactical uniform experiment. Tuxedo recognizing new user. The suit can do just about anything. I am its master. So uh, it does what I tell it to. Watch your step. Unfortunately, Jackie has not been briefed in the code of the suit. Okay, show me. Caution demolition mode. The tuxedo will consider any object to target. The tuxedo can do some crazy things. As soon as you change the button, then you're becoming a somebody else. They're sort of auto functions, you might call them. Man down, people. I go this way, then the tuxedo goes this way. What a gentleman. We needed to really make sure that this was the most fantastic tuxedo ever designed and that you could believe it could pull off these things. That's very difficult for me because I don't want it too normal. I don't want it too Superman. How can I make the tuxedo fighting 
with comedy. No, then we go Come up over, over top. Come back. Boom. Again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> What's next surprise? I always think about comedy action together. Just like Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, Charlie Chaplin. I don't think people have seen Jackie to this degree do physical humor. They know he's a fabulous martial artist. They know he's incredibly coordinated, quick, that sort of thing. But I think in this movie, they're going to see him in a manner that you haven't seen him before. Oh, and action! I've never really seen him actually prepare that much. It's all sort of like genius on the spot kind of things. I mean, he has to give the crew and, and of course the actors a little bit of an idea of kind of what he's going to do. But most of it he actually does right there on the day. Action! It gets a little scary because you feel like oh my God, I'm going to kick somebody and I'm going to break my leg in the process. <laughs> She surprised me. She's on the side. She practiced in the movement. A lot of it is just choreography, and if you can remember the choreography, then you can remember what you're supposed to, where you're supposed to kick, and who, and what arm goes where, and all of that stuff. And action! Right now in Hollywood, everybody jump to the sky. It's good, but too many. Everybody do this. So this one, I always want it different. You know, when you have him as a coach, his most important thing is that he wants everybody to feel like they're Jackie Chan when they're done with their action stuff, you know? I had a good time training. I, I trained for three months before the movie I started to go on the wires and things. Physically, it gets you into great fighting shape. And then I got to really work on my sidekicks and punches and things like that. And it was mostly just really good training so that I would be aware that if Jackie put some guy flying at me from behind, I would know what to do and how to protect myself from it. <laughs> the hazards of martial arts are certainly nothing new to Jackie Chan. But the tuxedo makes some strenuous demands that even he was not quite prepared for. That drives me crazy because I'm pretty good martial artist. I can move a lot, but not dance. He and I got to switch positions when it came to the dancing stuff because I've been dancing for a really, really long time. He was terrified. <laughs> he was terrified, which was kind of cool for me in one like weird way because it's something that I'm just more comfortable with. So um, when it came to the dancing, I was kind of like, oh, Jackie, come on, you can do it. It's going to be great, you know? You know how to mumbo? I hope so. I have to practice, practice, practice every night. Even I sleep and my feet, feet moving. Usually I get punch, you know, every day one hour jogging, running, and punching and kicking and do all kind of stuff. Now every day go home, watch the mirror. For one of the most memorable scenes in the movie, Jackie had to master the most difficult moves of his career. Are you ready? Ready. Say yeah. Yes. Two, three, and... The Godfather of Soul. He and Jennifer Love Hewitt's character go to this concert under the guise of finding out what the bad guy's doing. James Brown accidentally gets knocked down. You killed James Brown! And so Jackie takes his place. Dancing is okay, you know, just by myself. Okay, no, you have to copy James Brown. No one better than James Brown. Give it to me now! Well, 
great chemistry together because he's definitely the hardest working actor I've seen. He is unbelievable. The camera will start on you. And I'll go, I'll cue these guys. The fact that Jennifer Love Hewitt and Jackie Chan are involved has made it so easy for me. Last time you saw him, they were way over there. He's just a consummate professional. <laughs> then coming back. Jennifer, in spite of her bubbly exterior, is extremely savvy. They make everybody feel so at home and so at ease. Come here, you gotta take a picture. <laughs> okay. I thought she's just a pretty actress who can act. Actually, no. She's kind of like crazy. Beautiful, silly, crazy girl. <laughs> All right, can stand by the picture? <laughs> Sometime we're together, she behind me. <laughs> Ready, quiet, rolling. She starts smiling behind, ah, by herself. You guys ready? Yeah. Uh, action. <laughs> I turn around, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I've laughed the whole movie. He is hysterical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to stop tickling her. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, you did. He's just this little, this little ball of light and energy that just bounces around and makes everybody smile and laugh. One more time! Yeah. Oh! In Hong Kong, we don't have this kind of money. We don't have a mobile home. We don't even have a chair on the set. So actor, actress, everybody stay together. It's like a family. So I play with the cameraman, I play with the director, I play with everybody. You're wearing a tux again. What a shock. Hello, my name is Clark Devlin. I'm very, very popular. I don't think there are ever movies that are intentionally heartfelt, comedic, and action-oriented. I think that your star of the movie sort of brings that. The rest of us just sort of follow. I don't think there's anyone in the world who has that sort of physical dexterity, the ability to dance, sing, hop around, whatever. I mean, the man is amazing. I truly believe there's not an actor on the face of the earth that could have done this role other than Jackie Chan.